Breaking down camp. Good morning. This is where we can start camping. We are building these uh, houses. And uh, yeah, last night was very, very windy. And leaving this uh, village, I saw these houses and I said, let's get into here. Luckily, we were not bothered yet. So we got up quite early before the sun. Good and dry here. Good and dry. Now we're good to go. Leave no trace. Respect private property. That's my motto. That was our house for tonight. Beautiful. It's a bit chilly. Traffic jam. Portugal edition. Hola. Buen día. Cabo de San Vicente. You can see it's like a tip. There is the ocean. No sounds. I can turn around to get a better view of the cliffs. Patrimonio do Estado. Not sure we can enter. Most likely not. Ooh, that's a giant, uh, giant. Uh... Yeah, it's closed until 10. Sure, you can see. This is where we are. Today we're gonna split in Lagos. I'm gonna stop at a warm shower house, the campsite, for a day or two. But Ale has a tight shadow. He needs to go back to Ibiza before the school year starts. I'm gonna stay a night or two. Warm showers, post. Heat wave in Portugal, they said. Sunset. There are horses down there. Many dogs around here. There are chickens, there are rabbits, there are pigs. Very nice. This is my workstation. This is where I spent the last few days. Gunter Morten. It's a farm stay, warm shower house. There's a few houses there and some playground, there's some rabbits. There's the outdoor shower, kitchen. There's my bike. That's where I left my bike. Um, this is a little uh, campground where I pitch my tent. It's very nice. We're rested. Hello, buddy. Look at this. Very cute. That one, she's very fat. This is the compost toilet. And those are the owners with the dogs. I just left the fazenda of Frank and Famke and Luna and Sarah and I'm not sure where I'm going for the moment I'm going to Lagos and then I'll figure it out I stopped to Lidl in Lagos and they didn't sell pastel de nota so then I went to Aldi and they didn't sell pastel de nota and so I went to Porti now and I went to Lidl there. They did sell pastel de nata, but they were sold out. First world problem, finding 35 cents pastel de nata. I mean, I could have gone to a bakery, but they cost more than one euro each. Yeah. 
Why would anyone pay to camp in this shit hole? It's beyond me. And this is the nice part of the campsite you should have seen before. I stopped to another Lidl and they didn't have the pastel de nata, it was sold out. I mean, I don't know what I have to do to eat pastel de nata today. I stopped to three Lidl, one Aldi and one Intermarché. I cannot find the 35 cents pastel de nata today. I think in the next town there is another Lidl. Not sure if I should try or just give up. It's peak season in Portugal. Very good, very good. Would you believe it? I stopped to another uh, Lidl. I should have took a picture or a, or a clip. There was like so many different variants of breads and pastry. There was all sorts of donuts. Plain, chocolate, sugar, I don't know. Then there was the croissant, croissant with chocolate, with not chocolate, with this, with that. So, and they were full. They had just replenished everything. But of course, the pastel de nata tray was, was empty. So, four Lidl, one Aldi, and one Intermarché. And, yeah. Today is not my day. First world problem, I know. I know. Ah, here would be a nice place to camp, actually. But let's go another hour, I think. Something will come up anyway. Looks like they had some fires here. Some wildfires. Look at these trees, all all burned. The smell of this place. The houses were safe though. I didn't burn. Bon dia. Last night I slept uh, in that forest. It was, uh, it's basically all burned, as you can see. Uh, but it was a nice, um, a nice night anyway. Today I'll get to Faro, maybe to Spain, we'll see. I just registered a few clips, but there was the cover on the lens of the GoPro. It's terrible, like it always happens in the best part of the trails where I do in a day. Fuck it. Anyway, uh, this trail will get me into far, I think, and uh, you miss some spectacular parts. Everything is burned down, as you can see. So, I wonder. If you're camping in a place like this during the night and you're surprised by the, the fire, how fast can you pack your shit and go? Because I think uh, with this wind, it's always very windy around here. I think maybe the wildfire can spread it very fast, maybe like 10 kilo. The speed is probably maybe like 10 kilometers per hour, I don't know. I'm only guessing, but I, I think I'm very, very close to the reality of it.
Went to Lidl, got some food, got the pastel de nata, and got to the city center of Faro. And now it's time to leave Faro. Head to Spain, Gualba. Look at those two. They're going to the airport, I guess. Ah, yeah, the airport is there. So they have their, uh, this way from they're cycling with the two boxes in the back. So they will arrive to the airport and pack their bikes into the boxes. Orange is straight from the tree. Totally different flavor and taste than the one that you buy at the supermarket. Oh, they're so, so good. I love the sounds of cicadas in the summer. All right. Sometimes I wonder who put these roads on the map. Like? Sometimes they are single tracks. Like, do they pick them up from the satellites? Who knows? Very, very obscure roads sometimes. But it's nice. Look at the chicadas. Listen, because you can't really see them. It's loads of birds, shit. Probably is unseen in the in the in the salt. You can see this is almost ready. The crystals, the crystals, and the bird pooing pooing in the in the salt. That's the pink Himalayan salt in the bush. Right? Just white salt. You can see the crystal here, and you can see all the seagulls pooing on the on the salt. Uh, yeah, but their poo is white, so it, you don't really notice it. It just makes the the salt a little bit more thick. Almost made it to Spain again. So I stopped to get a, a beer cup from Portugal before leaving. And I arrived here at uh, 8.04 and the last ferry was at 8. So I need to find a place where I can camp for the night. Apparently there is a concert. I was gonna chance it and camp uh, somewhere here where there are the camper vans. But fuck it if there is the concert. I think this road will take me into some, uh, some sort of uh, uh, wood area. And uh, hopefully they are not, uh, they are not fenced. And I can camp somewhere. Because here there are fence. I will go a few kilometers. Okay, I think this is my opportunity. I'm gonna go here. And hopefully find a, a nice place to camp without any bothers. Right, so 
else was the bike there. Let me see this way or that way. This also could be an option. I'm trying to find a place where there is a tree I can uh, lean the bike against, but uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna pitch the tent. It's for me to win. Yeah. I'm, I'm.